Ah, America. So many awesome places to live and explore. There's some really amazing places in our fine country where people are friendly, lots of people have good jobs, and you couldn't find trouble even if you tried. In some parts of America, you just might think you're in heaven. And no, I'm not talking about the Golden Corral buffet either. And then there's the bad side of America. They are not like heaven in many places. You've probably been there before, or you live there now. These are the places where people are broke, crime is really high, and you can't find as much to do for fun. In these areas, things are just downright crummy. Today, we're gonna look at the states that are downright lousy to live in, at least for the most part. And we're gonna use statistics to do the rankings for us. So while many of you may not agree with the choices we make, you can't disagree with the methodology. If you live in a state we're about to talk about, don't hang your head. At least you don't live in North Korea. So join us on our janky journey across America's worst states for 2019. We begin this terrible trip through America in the state of Nevada. Whoa, 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 Nevada, don't get all bent out of shape. Why is Nevada so second rate? First off, Nevada has the nation's fourth highest violent rate in the country. Part of that might be due to the state's poor worker pool. Outside of Vegas, there aren't many jobs or employees. In fact, Nevada has America's second highest unemployment rate and our nation's sixth least number of college graduates. And to top it off, Nevada has the highest rate of domestic violence by men against women in all of the US. Now let's be fair and look at the bright side of living in Nevada. Well, for starters, you could go and watch Britney and Gaga every night if you wanted to. That's cool. And you don't have to pay income tax in Nevada. Instead, the state pays for all of this with gambling money. 71% of Nevada's state budget comes from people like you and me. And if you own a business in Nevada, you don't have to pay corporate tax either. That means you can cook the books all you want and no one will ever know. Not to be outdone, however, Arizona is a really suspect place to live too. Sure, we're well aware that places like Sedona, Prescott, Chandler, and Gilbert are awesome places to visit and live, and there's a lot of pretty deserts and lots of space. I get it. Fact is though, there are far much better places to call home. Statistically, Arizona has a lot to boast about. The Copper State ranks in the bottom 10 in five different categories, folks. Total crime, including violent and property crimes, is eighth highest, and the number of people without health insurance is 10th. Alcoholism is a big deal here. Booze poisoned the fourth highest number of drinkers in America and Arizona. And if you like Mexican food, well, your choices are limited to the greater Phoenix area. So if you're craving a taco, pal, it's gonna be of the homemade variety. This stuff's made in New York City? New York City! Get a rope. Pick up the original picante sauce. Pick up the pace. What's good about Arizona? Well, it might be really, really, really hot for long stretches, but you get 300 days of sunshine here, the highest number of sunny days in the US. That's great news for sun enthusiasts. They have a cool flag, perhaps the best state flag in America. Look at that thing. For the first time on our crummy cruise through America, we head out east, where we take a pit stop in the very friendly and mostly beautiful state of Tennessee. But beauty is only skin deep in many parts of the volunteer state. Incomes are the eighth lowest in America, which means lots of Tennesseans are living in poverty, and many struggle to find decent jobs outside of the booming capital of Nashville. Part of that problem is due to a population that ranks in the bottom 10 for education. Tennessee is tops in the nation for number of immunized residents, which is good, or bad, depending on if you're an anti-vaxxer. But most importantly, in Tennessee, crime is remarkably bad. Did you know Tennessee has the nation's third highest violent rate? Thanks, Mappy. Good point. And I'll add that Memphis, in particular, is a real mess. It consistently ranks as one of the most destitute, dangerous dives in the country. But have you ever had a Goo Goo Cluster? They were invented in and manufactured in Tennessee. They're delectable, and there's even Goo Goo ice cream. Look at that blue bunny, ain't he smart? He figured out a way to win a candy lover's heart. He sprinkled in a handful, then he sprinkled in some more, made a dandy candy flavor. Go get it at your store. Once you have some, you'll be goo goo for goo goo. Just a short drive away from Tennessee through the Great Smoky Mountains is the very haves and have nots state of South Carolina. Here, the beach communities are some of the best on the East Coast, 
where people come from all around the world to play golf and vacation. Then there's the rest of South Carolina, which is pretty much tobacco, cotton, and cornfields, and very poor. Surprisingly, South Carolina has the fourth worst crime in the nation. Well, not surprising for South Carolinans. You have about a 1 in 70 chance of being the victim of a property crime for every year you spend in the Palmetto State. South Carolina is also the fourth worst place in America for online dating. So if you're looking for love here, swipe at your own risk. Other factors? High poverty rates and America's ninth lowest income levels. This state ranks first for number of mobile home parks per capita too, which is really bad news during hurricane season. But there's reasons to be proud of living in South Carolina. Clemson won the college football title two of the past three years. Congrats to the Tigers. But what really makes South Carolina great is the number of amazing insects this state boasts. You can stand outside on a summer night and at any time dozens if not hundreds of curious bugs will come right up to you. Who lives in our next worst state in America in 2019? That would be our good friends in Oklahoma. Out in Oklahoma's town of El Reno, things couldn't be any worse than today. Where do we begin, Oklahoma? First off, this state ranks the fourth lowest in number of people with medical insurance. Considering that 43% of Okies carry guns, it might be surprising that this state has America's 12th highest property crime rate. Robbers must just like taking their chances here. Now, while many people might say they love the cost of living in Oklahoma, the fact that this state has America's fourth lowest home values is a sign that there's not a lot of desire to live here, plain and simple. Another interesting fact, Oklahoma has the most women in their prison system than any other state. Some tough broads in the Sooner State. And to top it off, Oklahomans eat the least number of fruits and veggies of anywhere else. For variety and vitamins and feeling rooty toot, eat a veg, a bread, a milk, a cheese, a bean, a meat, a fruit. Did you know parking meters and voicemail were both invented in Oklahoma? Thanks, Mappy. But no one likes either parking meters or voicemail. Hey! Now, Oklahomans aren't all gun-toting cowboys driving around their pickup trucks. Oklahomans are known for being awful friendly folk who love living in wide open spaces, in trailer parks. Now, that's not fair. There's actually a decent number of cities with a lot to do in Oklahoma. For instance, every year, Beaver, Oklahoma hosts the Cow Poop Throwing National Championships. And if you don't like watching cow poop throwing, you're not a true American, pal. Not so sweet home Alabama. We begin our journey southward, where we'll remain for just about the entire rest of our tour. We start in the state of Alabama, the fourth poorest place in the nation. While not having money doesn't necessarily mean a place is lousy, having a lot of crime does, Alabama ranks ninth for total number of crimes committed each year. In terms of opportunities, there aren't many. At 7%, Alabama has the nation's seventh highest people out of work. Across the board, there's not actually a single category where Alabama excels. Now on paper, Alabama may not have Southern charm, but there's a lot here that meets the eye. There's a low cost of living here and a ton of outdoors to explore where you can learn how to get unstuck from the mud with all your redneck buddies. Did you know more people go to church in Alabama than anywhere else? Okay. It's also true that more people die of strokes in Alabama than any other state too. Oh man. For now, we're gonna leap over Mississippi and peel back the layers on our next bad state, Louisiana. Don't worry, Mississippi, we haven't forgotten about you. Folks in Louisiana are really singing the blues these days. That's because things aren't going so well for many of them. It's a mess down here, to be honest. Louisiana ranks in the bottom 10 in eight of 11 categories we measured. It's third in crime, ninth in uninsured residents, third in poverty, sixth in income levels, and Louisianans are the fifth least educated people in America. Factor in the worst sales tax structure and some of the highest local sales taxes in the entire country, and it's woo-wee hard to make ends meet here. Now, before you get all down on Louisiana, you should know that the Pelican State is actually full of some really friendly and giving people. The Cajun Navy's a bright spot here. Whenever something goes wrong in Louisiana, you can bet the first people on the scene will be neighbors and strangers. Plus, there's crawfish everywhere here. You can get crawfish jello, crawfish beer, crawfish peanut butter, crawfish cereal, crawfish ice cream, crawfish spice lattes. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Mississippi's a real work in progress. 
This really pretty state ranks lowest in five categories, including college graduates, income levels, home prices, and jobs. It's also a very racist place to live as well. The education system in Mississippi is pretty lousy. Did you know 32% of the population over the age of 18 here can't even spell the state's name? Much of Mississippi also has a big shortage of medical doctors too. This state has the nation's highest rates for women dying of heart disease and the nation's highest obesity rate. That means there's some pretty big boys in Mississippi. And Bob's big boy, we love good food just like you do. Now, people in Mississippi are pretty proud to be from Mississippi, and they admit their state has flaws, but they love it nonetheless. We don't have to go too far to visit our second worst place to live in America, Arkansas. Arkansas is not last in a number of categories like Mississippi is, but it's far worse off in more of them overall. They're just about as poor as folks in Mississippi, but it's even more dangerous in Arkansas. And like other southern states on our list, it's a poor place with little opportunity. Although to be fair, some of the gunshots that ring out in Arkansas every day may not be due to crime. There are some bright spots here. For fun, you could join an outhouse racing league or join in on some spontaneous hog calls. So and if you're into camo, you'd fit right in. Now what's interesting about Arkansas is that the natural state ranked 10th in the nation for happiest states, according to a national poll. So, statistics aside, people here don't really seem to care a lick. Which of our fine American states is the worst place you can live? We're looking at you, New Mexico. First off, New Mexico sees more break-ins, armed robbery, and theft than anywhere else. There's a saying here, if it's not bolted down, somebody's gonna take it, unless you put a sign on it that says free. <laughs> Only two-thirds of kids here finish high school, so their education system suffers year after year. There's a huge wealth gap in New Mexico, and wages are really low, meaning there's not a lot of opportunities. Alcohol might as well be running through the taps in the houses here with the number of DWI arrests and deaths that happen in New Mexico every year. New Mexico's also low strength in the country for child well-being too. When you look at the numbers overall, New Mexico ranks toward the bottom in just about every statistical category you can measure. Are there any good things about living in New Mexico? Probably but we're out of time. Well, technically... Shut up, Mappy. There you go. That's the tour. Here's the actual map to prove we did the data. The darker the red, the worse. The darker the blue, the better. And no, this has nothing to do with politics, people. If you happen to live in New Mexico, or in any of the other states we spent time in today, cheer up. You just might like it where you live. And if you want to get away, there might be a little bit of room left in New Hampshire. Right, New Hampshire peeps? Maybe not. Hey guys, if you learned something new or you just like this video, make sure to like it. And if you really like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get all of our videos about what it's like to live in different places in America. Peace.